One thing people often forget is to lock wire the grips onto the handlebars. Seems pretty silly, but when they come loose, you lose control of your motorbike. Now there's no point lock wiring the grips on if you haven't glued the grips on first. The lock wire does not hold the grips on or stop them from turning. What the lock wire does is it holds the grip in place and stops the glue from lifting. So lock wire without glue is pointless. Glue without lock wire is pointless. So you use it in the combination to make sure the grips stay tight and don't slip. The glue to use is you can buy a grip glue in little packets or this ADOS spray-on glue. I prefer the spray-on glue, it's less messy. Put the glue inside the rubber grip and on the handlebar, slide it on and get it into position. Like all good cooking shows, this one has been pre-glued. So we now go on to using the lock wire. I use the aircraft grade stainless steel lock wire. You cut off a small portion. Wrap it around the end, towards the end of the uh, grip. Twist it around. Put the special pliers on. Lock them on. Then just pull them. It does it nice and tight like that. Release it. And cut the wire off close to the grip. The most important thing here is to the tag left over, push it outwards so it faces towards the end of the grip because your hand always slides off that way. Remember to do the, the knot or the twist about there because that's where your hand isn't grabbing. If you do it up on the top here, you can get into your hand and cut your hand and, and rip your gloves. So the, the twist is down here, just on near the bottom of it. So a lot of grips have a little groove for the lock wire in the type, so you put it inside there, makes it really easy. Same procedure, put the pliers on, tighten up tight. Cutting off again, as close as you can. This time, push the tag back towards this way because you're not going to be sliding your hand past there. Okay, we always put three wi wires on, one at each end and one in the middle. You can use ordinary pliers if you like, a little bit trickier. You have to turn it like that. And the best idea is to hold it tight, pull out and turn. Same thing, does the same job, but not as efficiently as the uh, special lock wire pliers. Got it done, do the same thing, cut it off, and the tag, as we say, goes outwards. Push it into the rubber, all done. 